for the killing of judges or any people from any other profession. I haven't seen it. What I've seen are politicians who are calling for the killing of journalists and the burning of the houses of their opponents. Even those politicians did not receive the kind of threats contained in the statement which has been issued about journalistic practice. And I think that sometimes we ought to be fair to ourselves. You understand? Judges are not the only people who have been killed in this country. Regrettable as the killing of journalists, of, of, of judges may be, we have had a history of the assassination of journalists. Recently, Ahmed Swali, even his killers have not been found and so on. So are we entitled to also be issuing threats to other professionals and so on? Are we entitled? And if we are not entitled to be issuing threats because some of our colleagues have been killed, judges also have no right to be issuing threats to us on account of the fact that some of their people have been killed. Fair and simple. Again, I think it's important for us to understand clearly that media freedom does not belong to practitioners. Media freedom is a freedom which is enjoyed by every citizen. And our infractions, even if they occur, does not guarantee, does not justify the, 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 the withdrawal of freedoms which should be enjoyed by 30 million Ghanaians. So there can be no justification for this statement full of threats. Huh? There can be no justification for this attempt to return us back to the days of the culture of science. Those of you who, 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 who are legal practitioners, and of course every professional journalist, at least at school, does basic law, the law of contempt, the law of libel, and so on. We have to learn it as part of our perfection. There's nothing in the law, there's absolutely nothing in the law which says that when judges have made decisions, those decisions cannot be criticized. There's nothing in the law. Besides, we've got to understand in clear terms that when people sit in judgment over others in the courts, whether it's the Supreme Court, the High Court, Court of Appeal, and so on, they are acting on behalf of the people of this country. They are not acting on their own behalf. And the powers they exercise are powers that belong to all the people of Ghana. And if they exercise our powers, if they act on our behalf, we are entitled to criticize them when, in our view, what they've done does not represent what we expect. Finish. <laughs>